this is Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. And today I'm going to be featuring Byte Ninja, an outstanding game hacker. Bringing up his YouTube now, as you can see, he's got some content. He's got some more on the way. And this is where I go to learn. This guy has taught me a bunch of stuff. And I really recommend that you go over there, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell on there, and you can get some great new content coming out. He's got stuff on there that nobody else has covered. He shows you how to do auto key presses. He also shows you how to make your very own trigger bot very easily and a bunch more other stuff and a lot of more great stuff coming out and today he's going to show us how to auto execute a mono function using create thread he has taught me so much and i want to go ahead and show him off to you now so cheat the game proudly presents bite ninja Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable the debug menu in Cuphead. I'm going to be using Mono and the Create Thread. So if we click on Mono, go to Dissect Mono, we get the Mono Dissect window. So we expand this and we go to Assembly C Sharp, expand this. Come on. There we go, we scroll all the way down to debug properties. There we go, debug control properties. Expand this, expand the methods, and we select scene select. Right click, click on JIT, and we get this function here. So right click on this. Select current function and we get the complete function. Right click on this, copy to clipboard, opcodes, minimize this, minimize this. Alright, now here I've got a create thread template. This is very basic what all create threads have enabled, alloc thread 248 create thread thread and then you have the thread label here and basically what we do is paste it and get rid of the addresses like this let's clean it up a bit And that's it. So press OK, enable, and there's a dug. There's a debug menu, and we've got all these bosses that we can select, all these levels. Yeah, as you can see, easy, normal, hard. You can choose your weapons, jams, and supers. So let's click on a level. Let's wait for it to load. Come on. Now and, go! And there you go, it works. So let's go back here. And let's try it again. And it works. It works again, look. So it's another level. Now go! That's right, a different level. Now there's one small issue with this. When you restart the game and you do this best fit what works because this address would be different. So we just repeat the process and put the address that's different. You put it here and it'll work. Or you've got a second option of doing a pointer scan for these and then put your pointer in your script. And that's basically it. 